Hi, I'm Fame Ken over of Languin.com, and this is Mandarin Chinese. Today we're going to talk some more about topic position, a special rule for the la marker, and amounts as we discuss things you've bought. You'll remember that Major Weiss has been newly assigned to the military attaché's office in Taipei. The Weisses have now been in Taipei several weeks and have moved into a house. Mrs. Weiss has just come to her husband's office to meet him for lunch. Listen as her husband's assistant, Miss Hu, finds out if she's gotten settled yet. Have all your household things arrived? 您家里的东西都到了吗? 您家里的东西都到了吗? Some have arrived and some haven't arrived yet. 有的到了, 有的还没到. 有的到了, 有的还没到. Here's the word for thing. 东西, 东西. Here's the phrase we've translated household things. 家里的东西, 家里的东西. You'll remember that the word 家里 literally means in the house. And here's the word for some. 有的, 有的. The word for some is made up of the verb 有, there are, and the marker of modification. 的, the sentence 有的到了, 有的还没到, might also be translated there are some which have arrived and there are some which haven't arrived yet. Here's the exchange live. 您家里的东西都到了吗? 有的到了, 有的还没到。Try translating it. 您家里的东西都到了吗? Have all your household things arrived? 有的到了, 有的还没到. Some have arrived and some haven't arrived yet. Since the word 有的 has the meaning there are or there is, it can't come after the verb any more that these are could in English. We just don't say, I bought there are books. You can use the word 有的 with an object, however, if the object is moved in front of the main verb. Listen to this example. Have you read these magazines? 这些杂志你看了吗? 这些杂志你看了吗? Some of these magazines I've read, and some I haven't read yet. 这些杂志,有的我看了,有的我还没看。这些杂志,有的我看了,有的我还没看。Here's how you say these. 这些,这些。And here's how you would say those. 那些,那些。The toneless bound word, 些, is used in making the plural of specified nouns. Notice that it occupies the position of a counter between the specifier and the noun. You might think of it meaning something like a bunch. This bunch of magazines. Notice also that in the second sentence, topic serves as a background for the word 有的. some, showing what it refers to. In English, we indicate what the word some refers to by following it with an of phrase, which names the thing some of those magazines I've read. In Chinese, the same information goes before the word 有的. in topic position. 这些杂志, 有的我看了. Here's the exchange live. 这些杂志你看了吗? 这些杂志, 有的我看了, 有的我还没看. Try translating it. 这些杂志你看了吗? Have you read these magazines? 这些杂志,有的我看了,有的我还没看。Some of these magazines I've read, and some I haven't read yet. For the next exchange, you'll need the expression for dishes. Listen. 盘子碗, 盘子碗. 
The word for dishes is a compound made up of two parts. The word by itself is used for flat plates, whether large or small. And the word one refers to bowls. Listen as Mrs. Weiss continues the conversation live. We've been here for a month, and we still haven't got the bowls yet. Try translating it. We've been here for a month, and we still haven't got the bowls yet. We've already been here for a month, and we still don't have any dishes. Now, Mrs. Y says that yesterday she finally went out and bought some dishes. Here are two ways Mrs. Y might describe what she bought: one specific and one general. Listen, I bought ten rice bowls. 我买了十个饭碗。我买了十个饭碗。I bought rice bowls. 我买饭碗了。我买饭碗了。Here's the word for rice bowl. 饭碗，饭碗。The last sentence you heard didn't mention how many bowls. What else was different about it? Listen to the two sentences again. I bought ten rice bowls. 我买了十个饭碗。我买了十个饭碗。I bought rice bowls. 我买饭碗了。我买饭碗了。In the first sentence, 我买了十个饭碗。The completed action law marker comes after the verb, just as in duration sentences. 她住了两天。She stayed two days. In the second sentence, 我买饭碗了。The completed action law marker unexpectedly comes after the noun phrase. The difference between these two sentences is that in one you're talking about what the object is, while in the other You're talking about how many of the objects are involved. Sentences with what we will call amount objects, talking about how many, act just like duration sentences, with the law marker coming after the verb for completed action, and after the noun phrase for new situation. Duration sentences, of course, also talk about amounts, amounts of time. Sentences with non-amount objects, talking about what, indicate completed action. By a law marker after the object. Here's an exchange reviewing the use of completed action law with amount and non-amount objects. Listen to it live. You 买什么了？我买杂志了。你买了几本？我买了一本中文杂志，两本英文杂志。Notice that the word 什么 what is a non-amount object, and the word 几本 how many volumes. Is an amount object. Try translating the exchange. You 买什么了 What did you buy? 我买杂志了 I bought magazines. 你买了几本 How many did you buy? 我买了一本中文杂志，两本英文杂志。I bought one Chinese language magazine and two English language magazines. Now let's go back to the conversation between Miss Hu and Mrs. Weiss. Listen. Yesterday I bought some dishes. 昨天我买了一点盘子碗。昨天我买了一点盘子碗。How many did you buy? You 买了多少？你买了多少 ？I bought ten rice bowls and ten large plates. 我买了十个饭碗，十个大盘子。我买了十个饭碗，十个大盘子。Notice that in the first sentence, 昨天我买了一点盘子碗。The time word 昨天 yesterday. Comes in the topic position before the subject, instead of after the subject, in its usual adverb position. Here, the time word is being used to set the scene for the rest of the sentence. Both place and time expressions can be put in topic position as scene setters. Notice that adding the word "idian" makes "pans one" into an amount object, since it means a little bit. Here's the word used for how many in this exchange. 多少 You've already had the word "多少" with the meaning "how much." 
You've now had two ways to ask how many. You use the bound word G plus a counter when you expect the answer to be 10 or less. If you expect the answer to be a larger amount, you use the word 多少. Here's the exchange live. 昨天我买了一点盘子碗。你买了多少？我买了十个饭碗，十个大盘子。Try translating it. 昨天我买了一点盘子碗。Yesterday I bought some dishes. 你买了多少？ How many did you buy? 我买了十个饭碗，十个大盘子。I bought ten rice bowls and ten large plates. 好，我们下课吧。Remember to head over to Langwin.com to play the games. That's Langwin, as in Langwin the Penguin. Thanks for watching. I want to thank all of our supporters who have helped make these courses possible. You too can help us continue offering free language courses. Simply head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Languin. What's Patreon, you ask? It's a crowdfunding site where you can pledge any amount you want to our cause. And to show our thanks, we'll give you bonus stuff. Again, that's patreon.com slash Languin. Until next time, stay cool.